Hello everybody and welcome to my new SQL Bash in Academy course where I'm talking today about parameter sniffing in SQL Server. In the past I had a lot of customers who are dealing with a specific problem in SQL Server. They have implemented their queries with stored procedures and sometimes these queries are very fast and sometimes they are just slow. Sounds interesting or even familiar to you? So join me in this SQL Bash and Academy course where I'm talking about the underlying root cause of this specific problem, how you can troubleshoot and finally resolve it. Before we go down to the details, I want to give you some information about my person. My name is Klaus Aschenbrenner and I'm the CEO and founder of SQL Bashing, a European-based company specialized in high-quality SQL Server consulting and training. I'm an international conference speaker and you can meet me the whole year at international conferences like SQL Bits in the UK and SQL Bass in the States where I'm speaking about SQL Server performance problems and how you can resolve them. Since September 2012, I'm also a Microsoft Certified Master for SQL Server 2008, which is the highest technical certification that you can currently achieve. You can find further information about my company SQL Passion and my person on sqlpassion.at. You can also follow me on Twitter and watch free SQL Server trainings on my own YouTube channel. Before we look now at the agenda for the next 60 minutes, I want to show you with a simple demo what specific performance problems we will troubleshoot in this course. So let's switch over to SQL Server Management Studio and run a simple stored procedure. I'm executing here the stored procedure get customers from country, which returns all my customers for a specific country. The country itself is passed into the stored procedure as a simple parameter. As you can see, the execution of that stored procedure produces a huge amount of database I.O. We need here more than 1.5 million page reads. When you have a good baseline for your SQL Server workload, it should be easy to determine if these runtime statistics are good or bad ones. Let's assume now that this stored procedure performs very badly because we know from our baseline that the execution of this stored procedure should need around 60,000 page reads. What people are sometimes doing in that specific scenario, they are just restarting SQL Server. A restart of SQL Server is never ever recommended because you are losing all the historical data in the various dynamic management views and you are also starting with a cold buffer pool. Which means SQL Server has to do a lot of physical reads in the first minutes after the startup until your buffer pool is ramped up with the needed data. So let's follow that bad practice and let's just restart SQL Server. This takes now a few seconds and afterwards we are trying to execute that specific stored procedure again. Our SQL Server is now up and running, so let's execute the stored procedure get customers from country again. As you can see, we are just producing now a little bit more than 60,000 page reads for that specific stored procedure. It's awesome to see which good influence a restart of SQL Server can have to your queries. No, not really. There must be some underlying root cause which caused that specific problem. In our case, we just have observed a so-called parameter sniffing problem with all its problems and side effects. So let's have now a look at the agenda to find out more what happened here in detail.